Yo, welcome back to the channel. If you ain't already, go subscribe. Feel free to like, share, and comment your thoughts. As you may know, we do a little bit of travel. So drop in the comments what action and footage you like to see. Especially if it's coupons involved. But anyway, let's get started on this clutch install. So for the tools that we'll need, 3 8 ratchet, also use an extension, 12 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, 3 8 sockets as follows, 10 mil, 8 mil, and a quarter inch, which I use that for the hex head, which is a size five. Um, impact driver, magnet, get back over to you. And if you're real particular like that, I might. All right, so for the parts that you'll need, keep in mind, I do have a backdated clutch in my bike. Uh, Suzuki OEM clutch plate kits are great. Years as follows, 09 through 11, R12 through 16, I've used them both. Also, I do prefer the APA Track King clutches. Y'all holla at your boy. Four, as you can see the part number there. Other than that, oil and uh, oil filter. Part number 6018, depending on where you get that from or if you get it from Suzuki. Reason for changing the clutch. Basically, we can see that the clutch isn't performing right. It's not that it's slipping, but the number shows something different. First thing we'll do, start at the top, work our way down. Go ahead and screw this clutch adjustment all the way in. It'll be extremely loose. And I won't bore y'all with this. We'll fast forward through it. We'll go ahead and take our fairings off. Quick disclaimer. Don't use this to suck your clutches in. I use Rotella. You can use whatever you like. We're going to get the clutches soaked while we take the rest of the bike apart. To begin with, you got two types of clutches or clutch plates. Got your fibers, got your steels. The fibers are the ones that we'll be soaking. Go ahead and throw those in a pan, Ziploc bag, whatever you may have to use, and get them soaking. But I ain't. So, starting off with our impact driver, eight mil socket. Come on, look close, let me show you something. I'm gonna bring some attention to the bolts that's holding the clutch cover on. This particular bike, 2017 and up, Jixxer 1000. The bolts that you have that are different are this one, which this one has a little rubber washer behind it so make sure that one goes back where it came from and this one here is the longest bolt goes in the middle the rest of the bolts all the same size you can move them around as you please i'll go ahead and get those off So more often than not, pulling this apart, these washers fall out from the starter setup. So 
Let's just slide it back in. Put our two washers back on now. Better than losing them. I'm going to get our clutch springs out. Remove the pressure plate. Start putting our plates. I'm going to get our clutches out. out the way we'll remove our pressure plate follow by all of the clutch plates you can't grab them all at once for the most part the oil keep them stuck together So upon inspection, you kind of see that, uh, well, of course, there's been a lot of heat in them. You do kind of put these clutches through a lot of stress. But looking at the fibers, you can kind of see a slight glaze in them. And that is where our performance went. So I could go through, kind of pick out the good ones. Most likely these steels aren't warped, so they're good to go back in. But today we'll just put a whole new set in. All right, on the way back up. Last time I installed my clutches, I did not use the uh, two small washers that go in the back of the clutch basket. One flat, one conical. These two here. I'll put them back in today. I don't know, just because, just try it again. Doesn't really matter, but I always do start at the back of my stack with the steel plate. I'm using the old one, just verify it wasn't warped. It's got a little heat in it, but it'll be fine. That'll just bring up our stack out a little bit. In the OEM kit, as you can see, one of these is a little different. This one's supposed to hold a little bit of oil, so just kind of dip it in the oil before we install it. First thing goes in after the uh, spare steel in the back, I guess you could call it. Flat washer. We'll stick it into the back. Like I said before, I've deleted it and just use a, a full size plate. Then a conical washer. If it was a cone or a bowl, the small end will go in towards the engine. And we'll start putting plates in it. So first one with the washer set up will be the uh, one with the more open diameter for the fibers. into our steels. Paying attention to the way you put them in. The steels will have a two edges to them. One edge is slightly rounded, one edge is a 90 degree sharp end. You want the rounded side to go inside towards uh, the rest of the engine. As I said, it's back with the plates. Last one, turn one rotation over. And from there, 
Back to the pressure plate. Notice a little notch here on the side. That notch will go in line with this notch here on the top of the pressure plate. Line that up and every time it'll drop right in. And from there, back to our clutch springs. Always be sure to start those by hand. Tighten down the drill. Not all the way to kind of cross tighten them like you would with the uh the love nuts on the car. So even when apply the pressure. Try to use a uh, 3 8 ratchet with this, but I kind of just lost a part of that, so we use what we got here. As you can see, these torque specs are very approximate. While we're here, we'll go ahead and make our adjustment to the clutch also. So, Ten and our twelve. And go ahead and break this center bolt loose. We also need a Phillips head screwdriver. I did leave that off of the tool list. So the ten mil loose. We'll screw this in until it stops. Light pressure. Stop. We'll take this and turn it a full turn out. Now go about a quarter of a turn and we'll tighten it back down. And turn the tin back up. Here I have to verify that both of the starting gear, our gears has the uh, washers on. Go ahead and inspect your gasket, make sure it's in good condition. As a heads up, the gasket and the OEM Suzuki kit for the 09 through 2016 Jixxon 1000 is not the same gasket, it's on the 17 plus model. So you might want to order that ahead of time if you think you're going to mess up the OEM. Start with our two special bolts. You know the one with the washer. Go from this location. And the longest bolt that we have, we go here. And from there we'll hand tighten the rest of them. And then cinch them down with a ratchet.
a lot of torque on these. Oil and filter already been drained and changed out. Now we just need to add our fresh oil back in. Nothing like a little bit of Crisco for the waves. Last but not least, turn our adjuster and the bar back out. Should have a little bit of plate once it's adjusted out there. Back together, fluid check, clutch is adjusted. Wait, did he leave the back door open?